All right. Going old school today, baby. Going old school today. Going old school. If you guys do not recognize the shirt, I know some of the letters are um, uh, green screen, so you can't really see it. It is the Squatching Cowboy. That's the Squatching Cowboy shirt. Uh, he sent me this shirt, and I'm, I'm always proud to wear this shirt. Always proud to wear this, wear this shirt. Guys, this is a little different kind of a show today. This is a show where you and I, I'm going to answer questions, be honest, show you some old videos that I, I used to do back in the day, kind of a kind of a just me and you type of show, just you and me, just you and me, you know, let's, let's, let's talk, let's have fun, let's get things, I don't know, off our chest, we got things on our chest, I don't know, but this is just an old time, good old fashioned kind of a show. So, and I'll show you some old videos that I did four years ago. You know what I mean? So it's going to be a different kind of a show. But before we get there, let me just thank all the people that are here right now. I see uh, Danny Statton. And first of all, I want to thank Danny Statton. Uh, he sent me some wonderful comics. I mean, you know, give me any kind of a uh, uh, gift through a donation or in the mail. Uh, I know Shelly uh, used to write letters, you know. So so getting stuff in the mail is just, I don't know how you explain it. It's just so wonderful because you're taking time out of your day, not just to watch a show, to actually send something to somebody, you know. And, and I truly do appreciate stuff like this. And, and the Star Wars he sent me, is the number one copy of this series. So that's that's awesome. And I want to thank everybody who's here, my flock, who's been just a fantastic person to show. I was actually uh, pitching her some of my ideas for some of the cartoons and stuff. And uh, she kind of, you know, she sounds like she likes it, what I want to do. And uh, I appreciate that. And I want to appreciate Mike for uh, being here in the in the chat uh paranormal pixie you know um spooky morales like i said this is just an old school type of show today um ida always been here and i'm, I'm gonna say something about donnie cho for a second i'm gonna say something about donnie cho uh, he jumped on tech's front porch channel i can't remember donnie how many days ago it was and then i jumped on tech's front porch with donnie and I love how honest Donnie was. I love it. He was honest about being new to the community, about learning a lot of the stuff for the first time and, and just listening to, to different people. And there's something about the honesty. You know what I mean? Being honest about you don't know everything. We all don't know everything. None of us knows everything. Is, is it, isn't that why we're here today, people? So we can share information and learn, trying to figure out for ourselves. Because we all know in this world, you're never going to get the truth from the news. You're, you're, you're just not. You know, the news don't want people to know anything spectacular or anything out weird. Because, you know, they want you to watch them. So... You know, and uh, Johnny, so I just figured out ghosts were real five years ago. Only found out about Dogman three years ago. And 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 Donnie, you know what? See, that's the honesty that I love because I know people within communities who always pretend to, oh, I knew about Dogman from the beginning. Oh, bullshit. Listen, I, I grew up, I got lucky in, in, in some ways. I grew up in a family that, Okay, I grew up with one father and two other brothers. So, you know, we had no mom, no sisters and all that. So, you know, we always been hunting and all that. But the family has always respected the Bigfoot. Always respected the Bigfoot. Always, you know, told us stories about the Bigfoot until we had our own encounter with, with the Bigfoot. You know, and so we always learned during that time that, crazy as it sounds, I never knew anything different that Bigfoot wasn't real. Until you go to school and people talk about uh, cryptids and, and, you know, folklore stories of the Bigfoot. And you sit there like, what? 
Bigfoot's not real? What? what, what? You know, or, or people have that mind frame of, of, of Bigfoot not being real. We know Bigfoot's real, right? I'm just, just trying to be real here with you guys. But, you know, you go through the process, like, how do people think this way? Well, first of all, I'm sure that every single buddy here in the chat at one time in their life believed that Santa Claus was real. We all did because you hear it every day. You see it every day. So in a way, learning, we know Bigfoot about the mountains. That was told to us, you know, and, and it taught us to, to respect the forest, you know, respect the land because, you know, we're on their land. Their forest, their woods, that's their territory. We have a house. We have, you know, live in a house, an apartment, tra wherever you live in. We all have houses. We all have trailers that we all live in. That's our home. Up there, that's their home. You know, uh, some people say Dogman is bullshit, and there are the same people who have seen Bigfoot and get ridiculous and judge. It's sad. And that's the point, Long Island. I appreciate I appreciate you bringing that. Like today, today is just one on one with you guys. We're just gonna get real. We're just gonna talk out in the open. We're just gonna talk out in the open. And you know, it is it, 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 it is weird within communities that you can believe in this, but you can't believe in this. And, and I never understand that. Now, I'm not saying here that you need to believe in everything that you hear. You have to believe in this. You have to believe in this. No, 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 no. You, you, don't, you don't have to believe in, in, in every single thing that you hear. But what I would say is don't you want to be at least open-minded to the possibility of some of these stories to be true? I mean, I always want – to be open-minded to the possibility. You know, listen, have an alien ship ever landed in my backyard? No. Oh, maybe they have. I just haven't seen it. I don't know. But has an alien ever landed in my backyard? Has an alien ever came out, shook my hands? No. It doesn't mean it's not real. It doesn't mean they're not real or they are real. That's the question of all questions, right? You know, and... You have to ask yourself, too, we know there are made-up stories of any community. We all know this, guys. We all know there's so many made-up stories. We know that. But that's why you, you, you do your own investigations. That's why you learn the people that you're watching. You're listening to the people that you're watching. So you can feel that, you know, I trust what he's saying. You know, you don't have to believe everything you hear from that one person. You could say it's it's you could say, I believe he saw something. What that is, I don't know, because the truth of the matter is we really, truly don't know what somebody else saw unless you're there with that person with your eyes open. So everything is speculation somewhat. But learning the person you're watching, learning the channel that you're watching is so important it is really truly important um uh, long island bigfoot wrote made up stories yes but not the specific itself they exist it's just a matter of believing the individual that is so true believing the individual and listen listen we all know if you tell a story you, you, you tell a story mike mike will understand this you, you tell a story that you know. You start here. Then that story goes to this person, this person, this person. That story goes down the line to a person down the line. Somehow that story from the beginning origins changed a I lot. This on the web. <laughs> wow. <laughs> my, my phone just started talking. I found this on the web. The origin... Of the beginning, trying tell a beginning of the universe, the origin of life. Wow. <laughs> Where did that come from? Where did that come from? Oh, Donnie, you know what? Thank you so much. You, you know, you, you know, I know lately, um, here, let me do this for you, Donnie. Let me do this for you, Donnie. And I 
I want to thank you, uh, uh, Donnie. You know, uh, I know uh, lately, you know, I've been pushing, you know, donations to the channel and stuff. And, it, and, 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 and the donations are for, you know, the cartoons to get made and all that. So I do appreciate it, but nobody has to donate. If you do, great. If you don't, you don't have to. A lot of the other things you can do is share the channel out to other people and all that. Chasing the truth, glad you're here. Spooky, I'm so glad you're here. Um, Shelly, um, you know, Shelly's one of the original person who helped to get the cartoon started. She donated, and, and we got, you know, the, the, the launch of the cartoons actually uh, started with Shelly. You know, uh, so so going back to what I was saying is, you know, stories do change, but but the story starts somewhere. They have started somewhere, and that's what you're trying to dig, what you're trying to find. That's the mystery of all mysteries, and you know, and I appreciate the work that you know Mike from Long Island Bigfoot does going out there and looking. Brown dwarf, I mean. Mm -hmm. Brown dwarf. What I love about these guys, and maybe I could pull up their channel too. Uh, let me pull up some of these guys' channel, and, and I'll tell you why I, I love some of these guys. Let me go to Brown Dwarf's channel here. Let me let me go to Brown Dwarf. Um, well, I'm so. You know, I hate sometimes when, when you're ready to uh, pop up a channel and then, you know, you're, you're looking for it and you can't, you can't find it. <laughs> it's not here, but you know what? It, this is raw. This is, you know, here it is. Here's Brown Dwarf's channel. Let me, let me just go to Brown Dwarf's channel for a second. Uh, let me share, share screen, go to Brown Dwarf. There we go. And if you guys never been uh, to his channel, um, here, I'll put the link to his channel in here. Um, you know, one of the things why I love like, like Brown's Dwarf channel is when you just go look at his videos, he's, he's, he's not just looking for Bigfoot. You know, he looks, he, he looks for whatever is the unknown, whatever, you know, strange that, that what's out there that could be Bigfoot that could be that could be um UFOs and you know when we did a show uh the other day Donnie wrote in there about talking about mermaids and stuff you know you know um it was Brown Dwarf who brought up the theory of people saying that Mount Shasta is somehow connected to the lost city of Atlantis and that's and and that's what I love about a lot of these people who, who who just you know they they have their minds open and the possibility. So you know if it's one thing that you accept that the Long Island the Long Island that the lost the long, long the lost city of Long Island Bigfoot. I'm hopefully he's not lost, but you know what I mean. The lost city of Atlantis, and then hearing about a connection with Mount Shasta. I mean that's the type of open minded stuff that. You have to love and and willing to listen. Now, I guarantee Brown Dwarf doesn't believe everything that he sees or hears, but I guarantee he studies it, he looks at it, he researches it to come up with his own idea of what he's looking at, what he's seeing, and, it, and it's just so wonderful. Um, let's go to Long Island Bigfoot. God, look at that picture right there. Look, look, look at that. Look at that. Looking for Zen tribe in a rainforest. I mean, it's just, I mean, it's just, his stuff is just, you know, and, and look at that. You know, and, and, and there are people saying there's no Bigfoot out in where, where he lives. Really? That's not a forest that that a Bigfoot will live in? Are you serious? I mean, you got, you know, you you truly got to love this stuff. And and I, and I truly love this stuff. And and guys in the chat, listen. You guys um let me see here. What's it say? 
if we go to Asian restaurant together, you 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 ask the uh, waiter for a fork, you bet your ass, I'm judging you. <laughs> 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 I, I I love that. I love that. I love that. But you know, there's so many uh, uh, great channels out there that that just don't talk about one thing, and that's the thing. There, there, there. But then there are channels that are within certain communities that just can't. They just can't. They just can't open their minds to a lot of stuff. And I said this before. Let's be truthful, guys. This is this is the sh this is. We're going to all have an honest conversation right here, right now with everybody. Let's hold on a second. Oh, what? Feed the Fink D donated to the channel. I, I'm, I'm so sorry. I did not see that. Um, wow. Thank you so much. Uh, let me give this for you, my friend. <laughs> Wow, that's awesome. That's awesome. I want to I want to thank you guys for donating to the channel. I just I wasn't even expecting that uh, and you know, but that's that's you know, uh when we're getting some Sith Lord good question. Here, you know, and guys, ask away with some questions. Ask away with some questions. What what Spooky Morales is is talking about is um um sometimes I'll put on my robe Give me a second. Give me a second. Give me a second, guys. Give me a second. What, what Spooky Morales is talking about is sometimes I'll do I'll do a card reading. You know, I, I'll I I I do I do card reading sometimes, and and that, that's what I want to be honest. Also, with, with some people here today, you know, some people have asked, and I wanted to be straight with everybody. Some people have asked, you know, what happened to that format that you were doing when you were breaking everything down? You know, you had the Bigfoot setting, you had the paranormal, you had um, you had UFOs, and then you had you know some Adele effects and and stuff like that. So, so a lot of people are asking, where has that gone? And this is what this is what um, um, I wanted to say. Uh, why we haven't seen that format, and I haven't been on every day like I have in the past. And so, this is where where I wanted to be straight with you guys. You know, um, I've I've uh, on on the job a while back, about three four weeks ago, I got injured to the point where I, I you know I had to wear a metal brace around my leg. So so I've been injured, and and I actually just got an MRI done a couple of days ago. So we're waiting for the results of, of the MRA. They you know with an X ray, there's a tear musculus. There's uh there's actually um I actually have um, a crack in the bone. Um, Paranormal Highway, did you make your own lightsaber? Yes. Yes. This this is a, a made lightsaber. So th th this is different pieces to make, you know, this comes apart. This whole thing comes apart where I could change, I could put different crystals in this lightsaber. So for example, I got... I got some crystals right here. I got uh, some green, yellow, uh, and blue. And when I put those crystals in here, and it changes color. But going back, I was I saw I got injured. So so a lot. So so I've been going to physical therapy during the week, and I've been I've been um, 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 you know have to see the doctors every every week. And of course, we're going to figure out when the x-rays are done, what's going to happen, you know, what do we need to do? So I haven't been able to get the videos and all that stuff together to do the format that I love to do. And I will get back to that. I promise you guys, I will. I love that style format. I love showing all communities, all videos on different communities, all on one show. So that is coming back. It's just, you know, when you've been injured, 
you're just trying i'm just trying to you know sometimes i'm not saying rush a show but if you want to say i i i i took a shortcut you know um i i guess you could say that but oh my mike you don't have man thank you so much <laughs> Thank you so much, Mike. So, you know, eventually I will get back to that style because I love that style. I love that style. I want one. Uh, Hiker X, hold on. Hold on. Along with that toy, I have one of these too. And what's cool about this toy is... is um, Put in crystals, changes color. So, so getting back to you guys. So I I am going to get back to that format. You know, it's just trying to find the adjustment of of what the schedules that I got to go through, and all that. So I will get back to that to that system of doing that kind of a show because I love it. You know, it, it, it just makes my day when I do that kind of a show. And uh, Amber Para World, my Wi-Fi is lagging bad. I might lose you. Amber Para World was an awesome mermaid. Awesome mermaid and all that. And, guys, I, I'm going to show you, you know, when I, when I started this channel in night, uh, 19, <laughs> I, I made myself more old. In 2018 is when I started the Gypsy Road channel. Uh, before that channel, it was Mr. True Thoughts, but it kept getting, uh, it got, for whatever reason, YouTube kept, they, they shut down those channels. For whatever reason, it, it, it feels like back in the day, they were mo even more sensitive than they were now about what kind of content you could play. So I had two other original channels, and they were taken down, and then I had, uh, um, um, uh, my one, but hold on a second. Let me show you one of the first, first video I ever did uh, online. Fair enough. Uh, guys, I, I'm a little bigger there. I'm a little bigger. I know some of you are gonna are gonna say, "Wow!" But this is like one of the first video I ever put on this channel. That's me right there. That's my son. That's my son. And here's a few little bit. If we can't get voices at a graveyard with all those dead bodies, I'm sorry. I, I don't know where we're going to get the uh, voices now. Now, one of the most famous stories of paranormal uh, is you probably heard of the house, Amityville Horror. Okay. Yep. Now, do you know that's at all? Like I said, <laughs> you're not really into the paranormal like I am. Do you know at all the story of of Amityville Horror. Well, I've seen the uh, the remake uh, about ten years ago. Oh, so... with the uh, Deadpool in it. Well, I don't know. <laughs> Ryan like Reynolds is in it. So that was actually one of the one of the first uh, videos I, I have done, <laughs> and that was with my son. And and uh, you can see that I've always been into the paranormal. And yes, I know. I told you I look different. You know, I look different. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm more on a diet now. I watch myself. So, and I'm not ashamed to say that I was a lot bigger. You know, I was a lot bigger there. And, um, you know, but that was fun. That was, that was really fun. Um, you know, here, here is, um, when I was trying to, I, I was, uh, during the time I was trying to get, I was trying to do a Ouija board live on the air. And I learned but what I was learning through people is, is when you do a, a, a Ouija board, you're supposed to make it yourself in a way you're supposed to do your own things. You're not supposed to buy in a store from Parker brothers to, uh, uh, to really do a Ouija board. So this is, I think this is like my second video that I ever done um, using a Ouija board. <laughs> Let's see here.
I printed it out. I put plastic on it. And then I, <laughs> that thing I'm using, it was actually... Uh, Basically, on how a Ouija board works is two, three people supposed to put your fingers on it and you ask questions. So that's basically it. Now, I talked to you earlier about, we know you're a skeptic about ghost stories and all that, but you said to me that you're gonna be open-minded, you're I'll, gonna pretend, you're gonna pretend that this is real to give the full energy to see if something comes in, okay? So, so basically, we're gonna try it. Now, we're gonna try it. Oh. Basically, what it's supposed to do is your energy from your hands <laughs> Supposed to feed it where the, the devil, the ghost, the loved ones, life after death is supposed to move it for you. Okay. So, so is so it I, I moved it a little bit. Oh, no, I saw you move it. I'm not <laughs> going to say that was a ghost because I know that wasn't a ghost. So, we, we heard a voice. He did a yes and there's a no here. Oh, okay. See how the circle goes here? <laughs> he moved it. And, you know, he moved the camera staring at your fingers. I mean, technically, you know, Okay, so that was that was uh, doing the Ouija board. Now, I did do another show that I thought, hey, let's me try to possess this doll as a conduit. I even named the doll a name, and actually, people who knew me back in the day, all who who was with me from the original days. Of Mr. True Thoughts and this channel, all remembers the name of that doll, and they all ask about where is this doll, and, and then, where what you do with this? Where is the doll? So, so this is the doll that I actually tried to possess. There's the doll. You can see the doll right there. I was trying to. If I don't know that was Eric, I wouldn't believe it. <laughs> That's me, guys. That's me. Here I go. All here. I'm gonna name all. Um, I'm gonna name him Tater Tot. Tater Tot. I named the doll Tater Tot, and people who know me <laughs> from the, from the original days all remembers Tater Tot, because I used to bring Tater Tot on the show a lot to see if we could get. Um, tater tot. Why is Eric's son so handsome? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Good point. Good point. Good point. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, so that's tater tot. So I'm going to give permission to a demon, ghost, whoever you are, you may use tater tot. Possess that sucker. Get into him. Tater Tot is waiting for you. Okay? So, whoever you are, ghost, demon, whoever you are, you may use Tater Tot for you. Transfer your energy to him so we can work this Ouija board to see what I've experienced is from maybe the other side. Okay? You got permission. All right. So, since Tater Tot's ready, I'm ready. Let's do this thing. I mean, I don't know if the ghosts are just prejudiced. If there is a ghost, they're prejudiced against Tater Tot. I don't know why. You know, he's a good doll. He behaves well. He does his thing. Not. Nah, so. so, that was me. <laughs> Hold on. What did Danny have to say? So much simple, Danny. Glad you got a new hat. That one looks like Rob Mr. Green Jeans. <laughs> you know, it is so it is so fun to see yourself. You know, it, it's kind of fun just seeing yourself back then. You know, it's it's you know it's it's just, to me it's so cool. Um and all that. And then um and then um, here, let me see here, present, share screen, back to some, um, you know, and, and you know, I, I have a lot of stuff, you know, I've, you know, ghost adventures, are they real or frauds? Uh, um, let me see here, you know, 
death around us, you know, uh, Queen Mary, you know, Queen Mary is, a. um, I, I went there to see if, um, there was a ghost. Let's go here a second. Let's, 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 let me take that one off. Let me, her. If we heard this ghost on that ship, what I'm here to do is meet a ghost and offer them this hat. To wear the hat along with me. Okay. Famous people have been on there. Ghost Adventures. Ghost Show. They all found ghosts. You know what? We are here to offer this to a ghost. To see if we can find the ghost here. All right. Join me on this journey. The true spirit ghost hunters. Right here. Right now. So here's. It's happened. So far, nothing has happened. But hey, guys, we're not giving up. We're going to keep trying. All right? All right. Hey, guys, this is kind of cool looking. I'm going to you imagine being on the stairs. Why can I not go in there? Okay, hey guys, you know, we're still looking. We're still looking at the ship. We're going to find something. Wow, guys, look. We're in a room that people used to sleep down here. It's kind of neat, but I still don't hear nothing. But there's a mirror. Uh, hey guys, we're still looking. You know what, guys? Walking down this hallway. Yes, Disneyland, building a lightsaber, only to that haunted mansion. Okay, so so I actually uh, that was the first walk around on Queen Mary. And then, and then I, you know, somebody told me that, you know, sometimes, um, ghosts are, um, oh, I almost messed it up. Let me go back here. Let me share the screen. Oh, T Terry Brown. <laughs> uh, thank you so much. Let me, let me give you this. I want, I want to thank you. Um, here we go. Uh, thank you so much, Terry. That is that is so nice of you. You didn't have to do that. I want to thank you so much for that. Now, let me share this other uh, second uh, uh, on Queen Mary that that you know because I've heard I've heard from people that sometimes ghosts are more sensitive to females than a male. That's what I've heard. You know, I can't sit here to tell you that that. That's true or not, but since I'm there, the first trip was with my son. This second one is with my daughter walking around. So let's check this one out. Yeah. Like I said, so far, there's nothing. I mean, there's no... Look, I don't see no girls, no floating. Got to make a phone call. Go in there. She can talk to a ghost. <laughs> it didn't work. She didn't talk okay, to no she's ghost. In the booth. She's going to try to make a conversation with the ghost. There's nobody in here. <laughs> so far, no activity. Nothing to the left. Nothing to the right. Oh, we got a fire extinguisher. That's good news. <laughs> See what room we're on. That's it. That's not it. That's the that's the room. Yes, they put up they put all up. That that was the room that supposedly been the most haunted. Um uh, Queen Mary is still in business. Yeah, th they are. They are. And, and, there, and there's people who said they've been on there and they uh, experienced ghosts on the Queen Mary. Unfortunately, when I was on there, going to be honest, didn't catch a single thing. Nothing at all to say, um, you know, not, not a voice, not a creak, not, not a knock. There, were, there, were, there was absolutely nothing. So... What was it? Was the trip a bust? No, it was still fun sleeping on the ship. 
you know, spending a night and stuff and two days there. And, you know, sometimes the fun thing is doing the investigation is doing, doing the thing. Now, now I, I don't do the typical investigation, but I have all the equipments in the world. I don't, I don't have all the equipments in the world. All I had was my phone camera myself just walking around, you know, um, I did have a digital voice recorder, but there was nothing caught on it. There were, there were, there was nothing. And I caught nothing. You know, I wanted to. I, I, I seriously wanted to. And, but, you know, I, I caught nothing. Um, I'm trying to see if uh, I'm going through my archives. Good old archives. Here. But so, shoot. Hold on a second. Um, in the early 2000s, I was with a girlfriend and her parents, and we walked around and went in areas we weren't supposed to the pool. We were sitting there. It's empty, and we heard wet footsteps. And that's fantastic. That's fantastic. If, if you guys had an experience at a place, more power to you. I want everybody to have some kind of experience doing something. But honestly, for me, it, did, it didn't happen. But, you know, when you, when you break down real investigations, people, and this is where sometimes, um, you know, uh, people spin the truth. They lie and stuff where I, I know investigators who've been at a place for seven days. And for the first seven days, absolutely nothing. But on that seventh day, they caught something for five minutes. And that's what a real investigation is. You're not always going to get something. Even though you wish you would, it does not get uh, 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 something. And you wish you wish you would. Uh, come to uh, Eastern State. You will have fun. You know, feed the, uh, uh, feed, feed the fink. I do... Almost, almost every two years, I have to go to the to the East Coast. My wife's family is from the East Coast, so I do go to the East Coast. And um, let me see if you're here. Um, trying to find. Let me let me try to find um, a video. Going through my archives. Here we go. Here we go. You know, like I said, every two years, I, I do go to the, I do go to the East Coast and they, like, like here's, um, let me share it here. This is um, uh, Central College. This is where. Guys, I do have a digital voice recorder, so I'm going to try to capture whatever voices I could get. This is exciting. Oh, I do. I do, people. I, 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 I really get excited when when I, I get to go out and do something. And this was on the East Coast. Um, and I hope you guys are enjoying this. This is just a relaxed, fun day. I love talking to you guys. This is like one of the best in the world. I do have a digital voice recorder. Hey. Remember, Pox, Pox was very scary, so they got him far away from everything. Okay. Okay. Come here. Come here, camera. Look up this hill. The reason, that, like Justin McDowell has said, when people got sick and when they had to uh, bury them, they had to go far because they're afraid that other people will catch it. So that's why it's almost like, a, I don't know, a mile, two miles away from the school. So it is a walk. It's not a, it's not a picnic. I wouldn't take a picnic up here. Now, you heard, you heard a few stories from uh, students that when you guys walked down here before, you actually heard voices. Well, that the uh, first question is, do you remember? Do you know if it's a female voice, a male voice, little kid's voice, or or is it too hard to know? But you too hard to know. Too hard to know. Okay. So there's been uh, signs of screams. So right here where we're standing. Uh, just below us is the street that we turned on coming in. It's probably don't have recorded, but they're there. It's completely residential just below these woods. And they typically have heard a lot of 
screens from up here, uh, some uh, just general conversation up here, coming up here and finding nothing. Uh, so, and those houses right below us, they tend to uh, not be able to keep people in them. They, yes. they, they move in and out quite a bit. And there's probably a lot of college kids that not naughty things out here. They might be hearing in those houses too. Just saying, just saying. <laughs> we don't know. You got to all the possibilities, like right? And then here, we're just walking. I should call this the ghost diet. We've been on a, a Bigfoot diet. This is like a ghost diet. And hold on a second. I'm going to pause it for a second. And here's another uh, um, an honest fact with you guys. You know, that walk did get me a little out of breath. Did get me out of breath. And that's when I realized that that I love doing this stuff and I, I need to get myself in better shape so I won't be out of breath. So, you know, that's why I've been on uh, a, a certain kind of a diet to help me uh, uh, lose a lot more weight so I could do that. But the funny thing is, right, the funny thing is I go, I do all this, then I go bust up my knee. Go figure, right? Go figure. How the hell, the, how, how does that happen? And there's inside the, the first integration school, the first female school. What you guys did was history. And it's just sad that a pox came in. A unification for African Americans in the schools. Uh, our community is a very, very nice community. If you search it up, there is an old picture of the first graduating class of that college. And not every history is in the cities, like New York City and all that. There's history. And, and what was so cool about Guys, what's so cool about that one is that was literally the first college that mixed races together. It's so weird to think about it. You know, it's so weird that we even had to go through that kind of stupid stuff in our history. The first place to allow women to be professors. I mean, it, 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 it's such an honor to investigate an area that, has real history at this place. See, now it's not a college. Now it's a high school. So that kind of a history gets lost. And I wish more people would go look at these histories and all that. And, and you know, when you go investigate a ghost, a UFO, you know, learn, learn the area, learn the history there because it's, 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 it's it's just freaking awesome and you know it's 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 just it's just great that's why this one was called the, the college well, I'm talking about if you guys want to look it up yourself it was the 1849 Central College McGraw New York was the first college to welcome all colors and sexes in one school so the history there is just off the hook off the hook and I, I, you know, and I just love it. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry to get like that, but I, I just, I just, I just love it. I just love it. Um, you know, so, so let me see here. Let me see if I got uh, anything cool in in the archives. I'm looking at my some archives. Cause like I said, I'm just having fun with you guys today. This is, you know, I, I appreciate you guys so much. Oh, oh. Oh, guys, 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 guys. I got so much shit, so much crap for this video. So much crap. Bigfoot sighting upstate New York live Sasquatch hunt. I got so much crap for this. And I'll tell you guys why I got so much crap. Listen, I like to have fun in life. If you don't like to have fun, get the fuck out of here. If you don't like to have some kind of fun, then what are you doing? You got to have fun what you're doing. You got to have fun. So, so. I haven't been up here. 
I haven't been up here since I did that one video on Instagram. Oh, this is it. There's, I think we're going to see some activity. So we're having In fun. The it came from this direction, right? Okay. And, and we we're, we're truly looking for movement, right? we're, we're truly I heard looking it. for Bigfoot. Uh, I am friendly with the neighbor. I'm going to cross over and I'm going to see if I can get him running that direction. Hold on. Where? Over here? Um, probably. What tree? I'm off the main entrance. I'm off the main entrance. We can come across. Quick, quick. So, we can just walk straight. Okay. Everybody, follow us. So, so maybe we can get him. It's almost like he sounds like Chewbacca. It was weird. I can do a Chewbacca call. Chewbacca. Oh. Oh. So if we can get a good spot on him here, and we can get some camera. Just sure freaking hear that. That way, straight. He Hold could on. be at the. She's in. The Bigfoot know. I mean, we know he knows how to climb trees. So we're here as your friend. We're here as your friend. We heard you're lonely. <laughs> we brought some iron mail. Are you a male Bigfoot or female Bigfoot? It's a goddamn female. It is a female. That explains the fickleness. That's a female Bigfoot. All right, guys. Look out. Look out. Give him some space. You don't want to get hurt. Get back. Get back. Don't trap him in. It's a her, not a he. Don't trap her in. It's a her. Don't drop the iron mail in. Hold on. Hold on, people. <laughs> I'm going to throw the stick. I'm going to throw the stick. Not to hurt them. Just to scare them. <laughs> we are now leaving. I'm going to throw another stick. <laughs> There he goes. Oh my God. There he goes. We, there he goes. This is amazing. That's amazing. This is amazing. We have actual coverage of an actual Ice. Bigfoot. Nice. He actually was went up here. That man, Justin McDowell. <laughs> I'm good. Ice. There he goes. Okay. So so we're having fun. We're just having fun. We actually got a guy dressed up in a uh, 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 in a Chewbacca outfit, his son, to have fun, to scare the other kids behind us we were actually really truly looking for a bigfoot but we wanted to scare because we had a group of kids i didn't show them a camera because you're not supposed to show kids so they were behind us and and we had them jump from the tree and i play i put that video on and i'm going to tell you guys something people from the bigfoot community were so pissed off saying what are you doing that's making fun of us making fun I've been a huge, huge person supporting the Bigfoot community, the UFO community, and and um, you know all communities. I wasn't trying to. Uh, uh, I wasn't trying to make fun of nothing. We're just having fun, scaring the kids. And I put that video up there, and people were mad, thinking I was making a joke out of the Bigfoot community. And then this is the thing: is you got to be honest here. If you can't have fun. If you can't kick back and just enjoy, because we were really, truly walking in the woods looking for, for, for the Bigfoot, but we wanted to scare the kids. So we put, we put it in a Chewbacca outfit and just to have fun. And people got angry about it. Oh, my God. There he goes. We, there he goes. This is amazing. That's amazing. This is amazing. We have a normal hunter. And we're going to be going to a graveyard. And, you know, the kids had fun. Everybody had fun. But I put the video on this channel. And, my God, people, I, I've, that's when, I mean, I, I know about trolls. And, and, and I know about that. But that's when I truly learn that there's certain People, I don't know if, if the, the older people in these communities, I can't tell you that. I don't want to be a discriminated, but but 
that's when I've really learned that it's listen, I understand taking this stuff seriously. Oh, hold on a second. Uh, uh um um who cares what, what anyone thinks, bro? Do whatever the fuck you want to let people piss on themselves. And and I agree with that. Laugh out loud, yo. When you start losing a sense of humor, we lose because because everyone makes fun for us for believing you never and that's the thing is, is, is it's just fun. It's in, enjoying it, you know. When you're on a research, it's all right to have fun. It's 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 it's, it's fun. And guys, and here's another message from me. Another message. If 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 anything today, like I said, this is just relax. I just want to have fun. I want you know, you guys want to ask. Hey, if you guys want any questions to be answered, uh, put them all in um um um. um capital letters ask me any question you want any question you want um outdoors kathy did you get answers to what something means it's so guys right now uh we got about 10 minutes left you know ask any question you want yes got an answer so uh, so ask any questions you want and um i'll answer any question that you want and i'll give you my honest answer for for anything so so you know just be yourself and have fun and don't ever let anybody to tell you the way you should investigate, the way you should look at things. Do it your way. Do it your way. It's your personality. Don't change your personality for anybody. You know, I try my best up here in Washington to um, join some paranormal groups, right? And I always believe you got to be up front. They always ask, you know, do you have any abilities? You know, do you have anything that's wrong? You know, you know, how's this? How's that? And every time they go into, you know, how's your hearing? And I say, my hearing's my hearing is not great. I, I, I you know, I, I'm, I'm always up front. You know, I had hearing issues since as a kid. I had operations on the ear, so I can hear. There was a time in life when I was a kid that I was what the percentage of the doctors were saying. I was only hearing twenty percent of what a, a normal ear should be hearing. So I wasn't hearing things at 100%. So I had to get an operation. And, and you know, it's way better. One ear is better than the other ear. So, you know, and, and when I'm up front with, um, when I'm up front with the, the channel, you know, this group, they like, nope, well, we can't use you. So, so... I'm not, I'm not joking. Every single paranormal group has turned me down. Every paranormal group. Paranormal group. Some of them have watched this channel. No, this guy is too, um, he, he's too open-minded. He's too this. He's not serious enough. Every time. And you know what? And this is what I say then I don't want to join your fucking groups if you can't enjoy what you're doing. Because isn't that what you're supposed to be doing? Enjoy what you're doing? You know, myself listening to Mike's story, Mike's been on my channel, you know, you know, when he goes out, you know, telling me on my own channel that him going out helps him. Helps him. You know, the love to going out to help you to have fun you know, may, makes him a better person. That's what it's about. Having fun. Um, here we go. Uh, cryptid people versus ghost people versus UFO people. What's the difference you've seen? The, that's a good, that's a, that's a damn good question. And, 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 and that's, that's what probably also one of the most hardest questions to answer because, a lot of times, depending on when you're going to these communities, you know what what you know what are they talking about versus other things. But one of the one of the things that that one of the main differences that I've seen is is um, people in the cryptid community are less likely to believe in ghosts and UFOs versus where people in the UFO community don't want anything to do with the Bigfoot. But they, they are a little bit willing to listen to ghosts. And to me, people in the paranormal universe are more open 
two to three. That's what I've seen. It could be different for whatever you've seen. I, I've seen people in the paranormal community are a little bit more open than the others, but but um, but I will say the Bigfoot community is probably uh, the the worst of the communities of not being open to the other ones. What I've seen, they really don't want. I don't know. Maybe uh, you know. Is it because when you go to these uh, cons, go to these conferences, and a lot of your speakers in the Biffy community are usually a lot older? I'm serious. If you go to a paranormal conference, you go to a UFO conference, and you go to a Bigfoot conference, usually the Bigfoot conference are older people that that speak. Is it that they're more set in their ways? You know, they don't they don't feel that UFOs. And I'm not talking about the uh, flying uh, okay, UFO. I'm talking about like alien ships because we all know there's unidentified flying objects in the space. We all know that. We know that. But but I don't know if they're just set in their ways that they don't care too much. Not not, not all. You know, Long Island Bigfoot's opened. Tech's front porch. Michigan Bigfoot Rob, you know, they're open. Bigfoot Anon, they're open. Supernatural Spectrum, he's open. So there are people that are open. But overall, what I've seen is the majority of the people in the Bigfoot community don't want anything to do with the other communities. Is it because they're older? I don't know. You know, I, I'm older. And I fucking love it all. Now, there is another community I, I would tell you that there was a time that I was um, I was heavily looking into the Medell Effect community. I was really heavily looking into it because I was myself wondering, why do we have different memories? Is it false memories? Is it this matrix? Is it another dimension the fourth dimension you know you know so there was a time that i was really into wondering why do we have why do we have different memories it, 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 it intrigues me it's intriguing you know is it all false memories you know but the thing is the Bigfoot, the the, the Medell Effect community is probably, besides a few people, is probably, my opinion, one of the worst communities to go into. Because, man, if you say something that your memories doesn't line up with theirs, oh my God, they 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 bash you, they they um they call you names, they call you stupid, and and the thing is. You're, so, you're if you're into this stuff, how the hell can you not have an open mind? And and not just an open mind is it's all right if the other person doesn't have the same exact memories as you or the exact same thoughts as you. It's all right. But I got to the point where I you notice on my channel that I haven't even talked about the uh, uh, Edie Medell effects lately because I, w I was just getting tired of, of people just pouncing on your memory. And it's just, it, it got to a point where it wasn't fun. Now I'm not saying I'm never going to go back to, to talk about some things from the Medell effect community because with something is where I just don't understand why I have a certain memory. I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to talk about it, but it's just like when you do, you open up a can of worms and people, um, um, all that, hold on. Um, I think a lot of communities, even a comic book one and a, and a metal detecting one, good stuff, movies and TV ones. Oh my God. You know what, Danny? Um, I think Bigfoot people are are put down so much they attack other communities, and you know what? And, 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 and feed the feet. that could be absolutely true. But you gotta make that change somewhere down the line. 
you have to make that change. Just all communities get beat up. All communities get beat up. You know, I respect all communities. Listen, I'm going to bring up a word that's controversial for everybody. Flat Earth community. I am not a flat Earth. I believe in round Earth. I believe the Earth is round, 100%. But I respect the people who do believe the Earth is flat. They have every right to believe what they want to believe. I used to interview some people. Your belief is your belief. Like religion. You believe heavily in religion? I respect that. I respect people's beliefs. But I hate it when you go down the road and you talk to people about their beliefs and you're listening to their beliefs, you get beat up by everybody else. And it shouldn't be that way. You shouldn't be that way. You should want to be heard and you should at least listen to all possibilities. Listen, it, we're all a skeptic somewhat. Every one of us is a skeptic somewhat. But but you still got to listen. You got to give a person an opportunity to try to change your mind. To learn more. So, you know, and, and, but I have gotten so much crap for being so open. For willing to listen to other people's theories and ideas on why a certain thing is. And I feel that we all should be that way. But we all know we live in this world that you're not allowed to think for yourself. So, so, so I, I'm not I'm not going to get into the, the the earth part. But what I'm what I'm just saying is 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 what I'm saying is is for all communities, be open, listen, and have your own mind, and 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 go where you want to go, and. For all communities, you should listen to multiple people, not just one person. Don't ever get yourself stuck into having a gatekeeper. There's a lot of these communities that have that one gatekeeper, right? You guys all know these channels that have these gatekeepers. Every one of you know this. This ain't nothing new. There's nothing new, but there's gatekeepers, right? So when a gatekeeper, you know, they come out and they show something fake or or they go out and then listen, if you don't like another channel, that's one thing. You don't have to like another channel. But you step over the line when you talk about somebody's appearances, you know. You know, I uh, I don't know what my wife was listening to in the car from TikTok. And this guy was bashing this other channel. And then the guy goes, and she's not even cute. You know, that's going too far. If you don't like another channel, that's your right, but never that what so so if that person was cute, you would think differently. You know what I mean? You should never talk about somebody's appearances. I mean that is just going way too far. Have have the right to not like something. That's fine. But the thing is, some of these gatekeepers they do this, and people still follow them like nothing. They can say whatever they want. And they know they're in the wrong, but they'll say something to twist the words and their followers just, they'll just go with them like it's nothing. So, so all I'm saying is here is got to be honest about yourself. Be honest to other people. If you agree with something, great. If you don't agree, you don't agree. Don't be a jerk about it. Don't, don't, don't make comments on chats and other people's channels like you're stupid for believing in that don't do that you say i don't agree with you on that but i respect your i respect your opinion that's you, you might say that's a more of a political type of answer it's not that is that is not a political type of answer because you're saying you don't agree with their thought but you're also saying i'm not gonna be a jerk about it you're here to learn we're all here to learn I learn the main reason why I do this channel is because I don't know everything. I do not. Hey, guys, that might be a shocker to you. Donnie, that might be a shock. Nah, Don, Donnie's a smart guy. 
Terry, that might be a shock to you, right? That I don't know everything because I don't. I don't. I learned so much from all of you. The knowledge and the stuff that we all share together is so fantastic. And that what makes us better. So I, I hope you guys enjoy today. It's just about being honest. And before we go, uh, I'm looking at the chat right now. Um, is there any question you guys want to ask right now before, before we end this show? Just I'm looking at the chat. You know, um, ask any question you want before we go. If you don't, you know, if you don't have any questions, you know, I really, truly want you guys to have a great weekend. Enjoy yourself and never stop believing. Never stop believing. Uh, what does he say? The supposed 12 people who run and have knowledge of everything outdoors, outdoors, Kathy. What's the morning? What's the meaning of life? That's that's the ultimate question. What's the meaning of life? That's the ultimate question. Feed the the thing, you know. Um, uh, oh, Lynn, link to my old channels. A lot of those old channels, um, they got taken down. They got taken down uh, by YouTube. I I, I do have some channels that I really haven't done too much stuff on there anymore. Um, for example, you know, um, uh, here's one of my older channels that I need to get back into it. Let me, let me, um, I have a horror talk channel and, um, where is it? God, you know, I, I wish I had some of my, um, oh, here, here's my, uh, um, and I haven't done anything on Horror Talk and I feel bad that I haven't, but here's my Horror Talk channel. I'll put it right here. Um, my Horror Talk channel was the one channel that um, I would talk um, horror movies and stuff. You can see here. Um Horror, I, I talk a lot of movies, a lot of horror stuff. And the thing is, I I, I, I did I used to make some music videos on there uh, with music and all that. Um, I did this because when I try to do horror talk on this channel, nobody showed up. Uh, believe it or not, Lynn, uh, almost nobody uh, showed up. To, to those shows when I did them here on my uh, Paranormal Highway channel. It's like, it, 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 it's like people hate movies. They bash TV. They, they hate it. They hate it so much. Like when, So when I want to talk about a movie or something, nobody shows up. So I created a whole other channel that, um, that I, I did talk about movies and all that. And, and it was, you know, Connor's been on this channel a lot with me and stuff. And um, I am planning to uh, do some things on it again, but, but that's, that's the channel I do talk about movies and stuff that people just don't like it on this channel and all that. Now go back to the last question. And then um, um, yes, I, I, I love movies. I enjoy movies. I love talking about them. I love talking about the meaning of some of these movies and, that's the channel that gives me the chance. I, I will get back to it. But the meaning of life is, is a question for, it's an individual question for everybody. What is their meaning of life? You know, for me, the meaning of life is always, for me, my meaning of life that I feel for me is, is wanting to know more. That is my meaning of life, to know more, to learn much information that I get. And, um, and, what I hope to get to one day is, is, um, well, <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, guys. I'm watching in the chat and, 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 and I'm seeing, I'm not wearing pants too. I'm not wearing pants. I'm like, whoa, whoa. Okay. All right. Well, we're going to the smut cast now. 
Um, I love this channel. I'm so glad I found it. Thanks for uh, uh, being so welcome. I, I am welcoming, and I've learned so much through the four years. You know, I've 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 been with certain communities that have turned their backs. I've been through all of it. You know, uh, guys. You know, uh, my brother's not on this channel basically no more. He, you know, my brother does has his own channel. He has a you know, uh, I think that, and, and, you know, we both have different ways of looking at things. You know, my brother loves being the center of attention. So when you watch his channel, it's just him. He loves it that way. That's fantastic. You know, um, you know, I love having people on my channel, different people talking to different people. My brother's more independent. He loves it when it's just him. So that's great. You know, that's great. So, so, uh, I hope, you know, you guys should check out his channel because it's, 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 you know, it's just him. He loves it that way. I love having people on this channel. I love talking to people. So, you know, we're different in that way. So, you know, we're, we're doing it differently. I have a different way. I want to do paranormal highway. He has a different way of uh, he wants to do his channel. And that's great. That's fantastic. There's no right or wrong in that, but the meaning of life for me, always want to learn always, you know, I hope before I die that, you know, some of the questions that, that listen, I know Bigfoot's real. I know aliens real. And I hope we get to the day that, that more of the people believe in it. And one of the things you guys can do is when you see young people talking about um, Bigfoot, and stuff, encourage them because the only way to get this where it gets more open-minded to the world, I'm not talking about being open-minded to what you see on TV, like discovery plus we know that, but I'm, what I'm talking about, um, Oh, my birthday's in May 8th. My birthday's in May. Outdoors, Kathy. So when you guys see young people, encourage them to continue because I love it when I see young people talk about all three communities and all that. So the meaning of life for me is to continuing learning because I really truly feel that the day you stop learning is basically the day you're digging your own grave. Always want to know more. And it doesn't mean have to know more by going out there doing investigation because we all can't do that. But is if it's through YouTube, great. If, social media, great. T whatever it is, always want to know more. That is, for me, is the meaning of life. Always wanting to know more. <laughs> I fucking love the chat today. I'm wearing my girlfriend's dress. I love you, Hobbs. That's honest. That is my friend honest. And what I think I'm going to be doing now, guys, I am starting Monday going back to my old format where I am going to be playing videos from each community. The Bigfoot kind of go back where I have the breaks. But I think on Friday is going to be the day that I'm just going to come out and do it like this. The honest day, which we're always honest, but you know what I mean. Just you and I. Because without you guys, without any of you, this could be possible. You know, listen, four years ago, when I was sitting here and said, I actually have five cartoons. You know, working on the sixth one, I thought you're crazy, but it is, it's having fun. So guys, thank you so much uh, for here. And if anybody wants to donate, you can. You don't have to, but share the channel out. And remember, truly, guys, I want you guys to know this. Anybody who has ever, ever um, uh, donated to this channel knows that every single penny goes back to the cartoon. Everything. Because they're not cheap to get made. Everything goes back to the cartoon. Uh, Nona Boss is a fantastic person. Andrew, Nona Boss, I love her. She's great. She's open-minded. She's uh, She has um, had me on her channel. I want to get her on my channel and all that. And, yeah, yeah, Dr. Wu, he has, uh, uh, you know, he he's, he, you know, like I said, he loves the spotlight. He loves the spotlight. That's him. He loves it when it's just him. And I will never say never. He'll never come back to this channel, come back to do a show. But I think he loves what he's doing. He loves that spotlight. And check it out. You guys all have fun. You know, uh, you know, we got different points of views, and that's fine. We all have different points of view. That's just the way it is. I want to thank every single one of you guys for coming here. Um, 
Uh, if you guys haven't been to Northern Boss's channel, she has a fantastic channel. And I've been, I have not been to a lot of people's channels lately for the last two, three to four weeks. And I apologize for that. Um, it's just, you know, with this injury, I'm trying to get that under control, trying to find out what's going on and get there. And support these other channels, people. Support Nona Boss's channel. Support Bigfoot and Nons channel. Identify S4 channel. My flock, uh, she does some fun stuff. But she goes on sometimes for 8 to 10 hours. <laughs> for me, two hours is the max. But I love one hour. But beyond that, guys, please have a great weekend and love one another. If somebody's being a jerk, be better than that person. Don't be a jerk back. Just be a better person. Go on and have fun. So beyond that, guys, I love you all. Thank you guys for being here. It's just on Fridays, we're going to do shows just like this. Me and you. And, he, you know, because I just love it. Beyond that, guys, please have a great weekend. Be safe. And always look up. Look forward. Keep your eyes open. Keep your keep your eyes open. Keep your eyes and ears open. Because you never know. You never know what you can find on the paranormal highway. <laughs> Don't get to the door,